This is uh, part two of my Magic 3D Easy View tutorial on uh, how to set up your stage. So we've got the stage set up. Next thing we're going to want to do is add some objects like a truss up on the ceiling there that I can um, hang some lights from and maybe an object down on the stage like a, sta uh, a chair or a person, something like that. So uh, here we go. Let's add a truss to the top. So I've got my stage selected here. I'm going to go to this icon here, Add Objects. Click on that. It will bring up a list and you have a variety of different objects that you can add. Um, you can have some fun just kind of playing around with, along with that if you'd like to. Uh, I'm going to do Trusses down here and I'm going to do Pro Truss and I'm going to do this Pro Truss, the first selection here, which comes up like that. And then say OK. Now, anytime you add a new object to uh, Magic View, it comes up selected, which is red. And at that point, it's editable. So this is movable, kind of places it right in the middle of your situation. First thing I want to do is adjust the uh, size of this object. So right now, it's 12 meters wide. And if you remember from the first video, we set the room at 8 meters wide. So I'm going to fix that and make this an 8 meter truss. The other dimensions are the size of the truss itself, because it's basically a square truss. If we take a look around here, you can see that it is a square truss that's going across the room. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is actually place this where we want it. So now we're going to go back to location. Um, your X value is moving the object to the left or to the right. So we really don't need to move it there. We want to keep it centered on our stage. And you can see the three different axes here. The Y axis is going to be moving it up or down. So X is left and right. Y is up and down. So if I start to move this up, you'll actually see that it actually, after two clicks I've gone up, it's actually protruding into the ceiling. If I start clicking down, I can kind of make it disappear into the floor. So I'm going to take it up next to the ceiling, but then I'm going to just bring it down a little bit. So it just clears the ceiling. We'll do like 3.75. So now if I take a look at it, it's been raised up. It's up near the top of the ceiling. You can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is move it for, further forward on the stage. Um, so that's going to be, we're looking at the front again, that's going to be our Z axis. So Z is moving it front and back. X is left and right, Y is up and down, Z is front and back. So if I start clicking on this, it's going to move it toward the back of the stage till it would disappear through the back wall. Well, if I click the down arrow, it moves it up to the front so that at this point it's actually out in front of the stage. So I'm going to move it to about there. Let's just see how that placement looks. That looks pretty good. It's up toward the front of the stage. If I really want it all the way to the front, I can maybe take a look from the top view and scroll out a little bit here and just kind of bump it up here gradually to the front till it is all the way up to the right on the front edge of the stage there. Great. So now we have that right on the front edge of our stage. If we're looking around at it, we have our truss up there that we can mount our lights to. Okay. And then just let's like say I want to add some objects. Again, I'm just using my mouse wheel to scroll in and out here. Uh, let's say, let's just add a... Uh, a chair to the stage or something to project some light onto. So again, we go back to our Add Objects here. Go to Decorative Objects, Furniture, Seats. And we have a variety of different chairs we can select from, from here. Uh, maybe I'll just do plain old stool like that and select OK. Again, what it shows is in the middle of the whole situation. So first of all, I'm going to bring it forward on the stage using my Z command here. Bring it up to the front and then I need to drop it down. So my Y command. Now we can see there I went a little too far. I've actually stuck it through the bottom of the stage. So in this, this case here you might want to take a different view and then using this gently bring it down until it's actually kind of touching the floor and not protruding into the floor. And then if we want to, we can certainly move it uh, left or right. I'll just move it over to this direction just a little bit. And unhighlight it by clicking up at the top of the bar here. 
So now if we take a look, we place the stool on the stage. By the way, we can color that stool. If I, I can either select it by clicking right on it, or again clicking on the truss or clicking here. Or you can select it also by doing here or doing that. I select, I suggest maybe selecting things by clicking down here and then unselecting here. Because again, when you go to move, if you accidentally touch something, you're going to accidentally move it. So I'm going to select my stool down here. And I can adjust the size of the stool here too. And I'm just going to do uh, change the color from white to something a little bit nicer, like maybe like a, well, let's say blue stool. And now when I click up here, we actually have a blue stool sitting on the stage. And that's pretty much it. You can add extra trusses, you can add curtains, chairs, whatever you feel like adding to it. Uh, just remember to uh, save when you're done.